All right, here goes the watch list for uh, June 20th, which will be Thursday for the live trading chat room at greatstockpicks.com. GameStop, GME. This big chart here is the daily chart, and then these are 60-minute candles in this smaller overlay, um, and the overlay of 60-minute candles has um, after-hours activity on it. This one does not. This just has regular hours. So uh, it just kind of shows you what it did in after-hours and why it's on watch. Uh, closed at 38.53, went as high as 42 in after hours. A lot of shorts in GameStop, so um, must have been some good news after hours. Anyway, this is uh, certainly worth watching tomorrow. Belongs on the watch list. Let's see, uh, Red Hat, RHT, again, closed at 46.22. Nothing pretty about the daily chart, but you can see in after hours, went as high as 49. Looks like it settled around 47.80. So that's still up here, a nice gap above a couple weeks worth of trading. Uh, which lands Red Hat on our watch list. Yelp um, closed at 32.93. Went a little higher uh, in after hours, but that, that's not really relevant on Yelp. Yelp uh, just up near recent highs. I'll get the 60 minute chart out of the way here. Um, if you pan out, Yelp, a relatively new issue, is basically at all time highs here. So um, certainly worth watching. I believe it's, um, let me get this out of the way again. I believe it's 14% short. Um, of 14% of the float short for Yelp and back to GameStop I, it looks like it's about 30% of the uh, float is short so GameStop GME uh, certainly one to watch tomorrow alright anyway uh, BTU I've been talking about this one in my videos there's nothing compelling about this chart other than if you go out on the weekly the 2008 carnage low was uh, 16 bucks right here um, and whatever that was November of 2008 hit 16 bucks so you know it's working its way down there now I just think if it can get around $16, it might give a nice intraday long setup just for a bounce. All I'm looking for is a day trade here. Um, and then NAV, somewhat interesting as a short. Let me get uh, a line going here. And you can see uh, after the gap up, it, it bounced off of this area right here, which is right around 30 bucks. And uh, right kind of trying to sneak below it now generally the first push um, might fail so it's gonna have to be an intraday proper setup but you know I do kind of like this little bitty flag here when it came down near 30 so that's a nice little pause and we might get some downside momentum so uh, NAV is on watch for a possible short again everything we do in the chat room is based on um, the daily chart but based on intraday setups and so uh, It'll all depend on whether or not we get a clean, low-risk setup as the day unfolds. All right, I'm going to quit babbling. That's the watch list for tomorrow. We'll talk to you later.